This document's important. It's only the cover page. It's on the cover of Geo or this site can be found at geoengineeringwatch.org. This document from 1966. It's a presidential document by NASA outlining the U.S. weather modification programs as of 1966 with budgets in the hundreds of millions of dollars even then, listing the agencies involved, DOD, DOE, uh, Department of Interior, about a dozen universities. This is the biggest elephant in the room. This document, again, can be found. I found it on the NASA archive, so it seems somebody put it there for me to find. So we have the proof. This is a great example of a nucleated snowstorm. I don't know how many of you heard of this, 100,000 cattle feared dead after early South Dakota snowstorm. October 4th, last year, up to 100,000 cattle died. How did that happen? When we had temperatures that were in the 40s. How do cattle from South Dakota die with temperatures in the 40s? When you have an endothermic reaction like I just described, how do you have snow at 56 degrees? This is right off the AccuWeather site. Did the laws of physics change? No, they, they, they haven't. It's, it's just geoengineering and, and weather modifications. So if you have four feet of snow in early October at 45 degrees, that's not going to kill cattle. But if those cattle are encased in this snow and there's an endothermic reaction, the temperature on their hide might be 20 below, that'll sure as hell kill them. So we have an event that the media almost tried to sweep under the rug. There wasn't much coverage about this. What about the weird ice boulders that wash up in Lake Michigan? This just happened for the third time in, in as many years. And this is historically unprecedented. 75 pound ice boulders floating all over the lake. How does that happen? It happens from artificial ice nucleation again. As that chemical reaction forms a nucleus, it tends to keep freezing all the way around it. So you end up with this, and the Weather Channel will explain this away. They'll, they come up with terms uh, that try to make the unnatural seem natural. So this is a phenomenon that we've just seen again a few days ago. Mm -hmm.